This is the most expensive day we've ever had on the road. It is money. We're going to literally hand over $7,500 to get all of this work done. It'll take place this week. We are in Yuma. We're in a comfortable place in Yuma. So we got to go and see if we can negotiate to stay here a little bit longer at the favorable rate that we've got right now at the Passport America or if they have any kind of weekly rates. Um, so we will have a place to stay. Not worried about that. Um, the dogs will still continue. There's that beautiful park we're going to go to. The dogs will still get out and, and all that, but starting tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, our lives change. So if you're watching this video right now, we do appreciate you taking the time to be a part of our wander. What you're going to see is not clickbait. It is a very significant event that happened in our life. Um, it's reality. It's reality. <laughs> you ask for authenticity and reality, and we pride ourselves on being some of the most unique, uh, authentic people out there. Uh, we are trying to make a living showing you how our life works, and unfortunately today we had a pretty significant uh, setback. Yeah, basically the most expensive <laughs> day ever. It is. It is literally us. the single so, most expensive day in our in our life um, yeah. together. We've, yeah. we've not had a day this expensive, but we just wanted to give you a disclaimer that we um, we stepped into something, stepped across into something that we thought was going to be a whole lot simpler than what it actually turned out to be. And uh, it's setting us back quite a bit. I mean, I don't want to say half of what we have to our name, but it's it's half of what we have to our name. That being said, our story is going to take a dramatic turn after this day. And uh, if you're still with us, we appreciate it. Um, we do encourage you to stay connected to us. We appreciate your prayers. We appreciate your thoughts. We appreciate your positive comments and, and letting us know where you found us and, uh, and how you're doing, because that's our goal on the road is just to continue to be some type of positivity, even in the midst of this. But we're going to bring you into that. So we're, we're teasing it out right now and some of the decisions that we're going to make, because we are going to do your favorite line from friends and pivot. Pivot! We are going to pivot. We're going to have to make some changes in our lives. Um, and this episode is going to be kind of the start of that. This is, this is where the rubber's hitting the road for us. So thanks for watching. And again, um, stay tuned to all the follow-up through this video, as well as, as the next couple episodes that we release, because life is getting pretty dang serious for us right now. And uh, thanks again. Oh, Mexico, I've never really been, but today I will go. That's my, uh, that's my butchering of James Taylor right there. Hope YouTube doesn't ding me. That should not be a copyright infringement. Um, I don't know how that works. But anyway, we are, uh, we're up in Adam in Yuma, Arizona, which is literally a stone's throw from California. We walk, we're camping right on the river, on the Colorado River. You can throw a rock over and hit California. It's also... <laughs> A stone's throw away from old Mexico. From Mexico. Yeah, it's it's from wedged. Specifically, if you know your geography. Do you know your geography? It's right across the border from Algodones. Los Algodones. We are headed to Los Algodones. Why are we headed to Los Algodones? Why does anybody head to Los Algodones? Especially those people in the RV community or those who live in Southern California or Southern Arizona. You go to Los Algodones. To get cheap dental work done. To get cheap dental work done. High quality, but affordable dental work done. We've heard about this for years, and we've never taken time to stop. We've had uh, dental issues in our lives where we always need work done. We had a discount dentist in Jacksonville, Florida before we left, and it's just hard to keep up with that on the road. But this is very convenient for us at Los Algodones. is a 10-minute drive, hopefully a 10-minute walk across the border, and then we get picked up by the dentist, and they take us to the office, and voila. So... That's what we're doing. It's kind of exciting. Except I hate the dentist. Yeah. I don't know why I'm excited. Well, it's because we're crossing a border. We're always excited. Well, I'm, I usually get anxious crossing a border, so I got a little anxiety in me. Um, but we're going to do what hundreds of people do every single day, and we're going to cross at Los Algodones, go get our teeth cleaned, go get any cavities filled that we might have, and then uh, make our way back and run some errands and spend some time with the dogs. There's a beautiful park right around the corner from where we're camping, so we're going to go check that out later on today. But for now, we got to go to Mexico. Mexico. We got Mexico? We got to go to Mexico. We got to go to Mexico. We're on it. If you're coming from Yuma, depending on where you're staying, it's about a 15-minute drive to get to the parking lot. 
Um, there's a casino that people like to stay at, and then there's a couple Passport America campgrounds. We like our Passport America campgrounds, so that's where we stayed, um, right on the Colorado River on the Arizona side. And uh, so for us, it's about a 15 minute drive to get there. Lindsay's doing a fantastic job. We'll be pulling into the parking lot in just a couple minutes. So driving up to the parking lot is nice and simple and easy off the 8, off Interstate 8, and you just go down for about a mile and a half or so, and then there's a big sign that's parking on the right, and it's $6 for car parking if you're in your car. There are other prices. There's all kinds of vehicles here, um, and if you are camping, if you are RVing, there is an RV campground just before you make the turn in here, literally right before. Um, so if you did want to camp right here this close, um, there is a campground there as well. Um, but once you pay your $6, you go through the gate and you fall into this big parking lot. And there's lots of people here already. This is a, a daily activity for many, many people. And so we're gonna make it a daily activity now by dropping the handy cam, grabbing the GoPro, and we're gonna go make our way through the border. Well, we just got back from the dentist, and um, that was uh, that was a surprise. I was not expecting. I was expecting to need some stuff done. I was not expecting the amount of stuff that he said I needed done. So in April, which was a big blow. When we were back in Florida, we went to see our dentist, the ones that we've been seeing for years. It is a discount dental place. They told us that there were some things to keep an eye out for, and we said, great, we're gonna be going to Los Algodones soon, mm -hmm. and we'll <clears throat> we'll do that. That was a decision Lindsay and I made. Even the doctors, we said, we're, we're gonna get work done in Mexico, and the dentist there in Florida did not object. He said, do your research, which we did, and, uh, and just make sure that you feel comfortable with the dentist, which we do feel comfortable with the dentist. So uh, we went in for cleanings, x-rays, basic exam, um, just wanted to confirm that Lindsay needed certain things and um, it didn't really work out that way Although we are investing in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty mouth. Smile. Poor money. No, it's not <laughs> It is a it, it is a pretty mouth. Yeah, so um, I have struggled with Dental stuff my whole life mostly because I've had Crohn's uh, my whole life since I was about 12 so when I was diagnosed and since then I've struggled with my teeth a lot <laughs> you could say that there is a Honda Civic in my mouth I've had a lot of work done and now I need more work done thank you well, so <laughs> I don't know who you're thanking but well, the Crohn's yeah, Crohn's disease Crohn's. one of the issues with Crohn's which we haven't really shared with Lindsay's body but Lindsay's body uh, it's an autoimmune disease and it's a severe autoimmune disease and her body attacks itself um, in some ways bacterial wise 
And one of the things that happens is the body does not absorb calcium the way that other bodies would. And I'm yeah, not saying same. normal bodies. I'm just saying Lindsay has struggled. I have, I have weak teeth. She is so mostly and from the Crohn's. And we have great, great medical professionals, friends who counsel us, advise us. Lindsay's on supplements and everything is supposed to help with this. But the reality is Crohn's disease is a nightmare to a lot of people in a lot of different ways. And Lindsay's blessed that she has skated through some of the issues. She hasn't had any surgeries. You don't have a colostomy bag. There are things that we are incredibly grateful for and, and thankful that God's kind of protected us through this time. But one of the things where, where we're getting hit hard is just this idea that her, her body's not absorbing that calcium. And we have over the years, when Lindsay just said, I think it's getting up to like a, a Ford Expedition. Um, yeah, probably. The it's of, getting up there. The amount of money that we have spent over the years um, investing in dental care. And it's been everything that we have been able to do. I mean, like we, we've not gone cheap. But Lindsay had teeth pulled just because we couldn't afford implants at the time. And and so she has been a champ throughout this whole process, um, throughout this life with her with her um, dental health. And we've done everything we possibly could. And that includes today. Going to Los Algodones was on our plans. We thought, we called them and said, can you do a crown the next day? And they're like, yep, we can. We got our own lab. So we literally thought we were going to drive up today, get the exam yeah. done get the, the fillings taken care of, get the crown all sized out. They'd manufacture the crown overnight, come back tomorrow, get it done, zipped up, and on, on we go toward Baja. And um, that's why we're called to wander, because this is part of our wander. We, we could not have planned um, this experience. Drum roll, why is it the most expensive day of our life on the road, our life and marriage? We're going on 10 years this New Year's. This is the most expensive day because the final bill for both of our teeth is coming to uh, about $7,500. $7,500 US dollars, not pesos. At first I was, I was like, oh, pesos, we got that. <laughs> and then I realized that the, the prices that they were quoting were incredibly reasonable, but they were definitely dollars. Yeah, I would say my teeth alone are gonna cost four grand. And that's including an implant. So, which the last implant I had done about ten years ago was about four thousand dollars just for the implant. So, so. This, <laughs> what Lindsay's trying to say is the silver lining is the amount of work that we are going to have to get between the two of us. Uh, Lindsay's got two root two, canals, three crowns, three crowns, and an implant. She's got to have a tooth taken out, extraction, yep. and then a an implant put in. Um, so $7,500 for that is probably about a quarter, maybe a third of what it would cost at most dentists. Yeah, it'd and probably be about $11,000. Oh, easily. 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 Just for me. So. If we were to do this in the States. On top of the expense that we're spending, the $7,500 in a day, um, we're also going to be here for about a week as it takes a little bit longer, a week to 10 days for us to go through the process. But tying back to the title, this is the most expensive day we've ever had on the road. It is money. We're going to literally hand over $7,500 to get all of this work done. It'll take place this week. We are in Yuma. We're in a comfortable place in Yuma. So we got to go and see if we can negotiate to stay here a little bit longer at the favorable rate that we've got right now at the Passport America or if they have any kind of weekly rates. Um, so we will have a place to stay. Not worried about that. Um, the dogs will still continue. There's that beautiful park we're going to go to. The dogs will still get out and, and all that, but starting tomorrow at eight o'clock in the morning, our lives change. And uh, it'll be for the better. This is something that we have shared about our dogs. And if we're willing to spend money on our dogs to keep our dogs healthy, we would be foolish to not do the same for ourselves. So we will be sharing more of our health journey as we are staying on the road. I'm 42 years old, I just turned 42. Lindsay just turned 23, so that's fantastic. I, you know, I married young. When Lindsay's not 23, but <laughs> you don't say how old a woman is, especially not on camera, especially to strangers watching on YouTube. Um, Lindsay's a couple years younger than me. We are not spring chickens, so health is starting to be something that uh, it's costing us money. Just to give you some perspective, over the summer that Lindsay and I worked in Custer State Park, which we still haven't shared a lot about that, but our work camping, 
we were able to save about ten thousand dollars which was exciting we were like ten thousand dollars is great and that's about all we had in the bank and now we're going to go to baja and we're going to live off of that and we've got some business opportunities coming up and uh, so out of that ten thousand dollars that we worked all summer for this is seven seven thousand three quarters of it three quarters are going into our mouths and we normally live off of twenty five hundred dollars a month so we're talking about three months of our full-time living expenses on the road going into our mouths and so again we just we want to be real with you this is this is our life this is a real deal you're a part of it will this bring us off the road drum roll we don't know we don't know but i can tell you if you just lost three quarters of your savings which i know a lot of people have we're not minimizing the economy right now we're dealing with inflation the same way we're paying 64 cents for a can of green beans for our dogs a year and a half ago we used to pay 50 cents for that same can so we're in there with you uh, when it comes to the cost of living going through the roof but now we've had this experience where we don't have a choice we have to spend the money we have to get the work done that's just to say we just took a big punch to the solar plexus knocked the wind out of us i think it took us a good half an hour hour of sitting outside and praying through this uh, this experience and talking through the opportunities and saying well can we do it and the answer was yeah yeah we can do it what is it going to look like for us moving forward we don't know there are millions of people in the united states who are facing similar situations as what we're going through and we want to try to do it with as much grace as we can um lindsay's crying right now this is the honest to god lindsay right here right now um because it's, this is a this is a really big freaking deal for us but we are trying to walk through it gracefully prayerfully making the best wise decisions um and if we can have an impact on other people going through similar circumstances um you know even if if it's something that is not health related, if it's, you know, somebody's about to be evicted and they don't know how to navigate that and they're just looking for some kind of hope. Um, we want to try to be that as we move forward with our lives. It's how we started when we had zero followers and we kind of lost track of that. And that's part of why we're back is we are about bringing a positive impact into people's lives. I worry about money. I constantly worry about money. I have a spreadsheet. I look at it two or three times throughout the day. Nothing changes in the course of most days, but I still kind of obsess about it. And I, I look at our cash flow and I say, oh, we've got this, this part of our business is bringing in this much and this is bringing in this much. So when something like this happens, it's devastating. And we just want to be honest and real and raw and authentic. We are gonna get through this and you will be there with us. We're gonna bring you through as much as we possibly can over the course of the next couple weeks, next couple months, the rest of the year. We have some very big plans some amazing, inspiring, incredible plans. We might have already announced them by the time this video gets out. Um, but we have some incredible stuff we're trying to do for the world, for the people of the world. And, um, man, this was a big setback. But we're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. And, again, we thank you for all of the positivity, the prayers, the, the great feedback. We, uh, we couldn't do this life without knowing that you're on the other side of the camera, the other side of the computer screen or the phone. Thanks for being a part of our journey. We'll, uh, we'll update you soon. So a quick update um, because this episode is spinning out of control pretty rapidly and I'm not certain if this is going to be part of the previous one or part of a new one. But uh, that's Lindsay back there. She's not talking right now because she spent three hours getting her face pulled apart. We did go into um, Los Algodones one more time this morning. Another dentist for a second opinion. We didn't tell them anything. We did that little double blind thing, didn't tell them anything. And what they came out with was pretty much, for Lindsay, was pretty well spot on. Almost. Between what Green the, the dentist in Florida had said. Correct. And what the dentist yesterday had said. So long story short, yeah. we're like, I don't know why we're laughing. I just, I just handed over $2,500 US cash. And tomorrow I hand over another $2,500 US cash. I don't know why I'm laughing except... Yeah. And if you're wondering what I had done today, I had two root canals done. Yep. And she's still so. smiling. On separate sides. <laughs> Lower and upper. So both sides of my face would melt. And um, she uh, had, you had, Lindsay had an abscess in each one, so they had to pack it with antibiotics. Yeah. So, so that's another part of the drama of this episode that's continuing to go on is that we are here now for two weeks. 
So, so um, we are called to wander, not called to arrive. We say that quite often. We know there's a reason why all this is happening. The first is, of course, Lindsay's health and making sure that she's got everything taken care of. We have no idea, and Lindsay kind of shared this in one of the episodes, our lives were, were spared. I'm, I'm convinced 100% we're spared because we stopped and we helped out a lady with, with a, a flat tire. And I think this is probably similar. I have a feeling if we were going to Baja tomorrow, like we were planning, a semi-truck would have swerved, would have got a flat tire, would have hit us, would have knocked us off a cliff. I mean, it sounds crazy to say that way, but we just, we trust God has a reason behind everything. And we don't mean that in a generic way. Like this is a, this is genuine Chris and Lindsay with Called to Wander. We are Christians and we absolutely trust that God has a purpose and a plan for our lives. And as silly as it sounds, something like being here for an extra two weeks and having to spend all this extra money that we weren't planning on, that's all part of the plan. And so again, we wanted to share that we're going to be graceful through this period, God willing, um, humble, and just open to the idea that this is part of our life and um, and, and there's no way around it. I don't want to live somebody else's life. We're in a good situation. In the meantime, because of all this, we now get to spend Thanksgiving with Chris's sister. In Phoenix. In Phoenix. Yeah. So we're so. putting those plans together. Of course, we'll be bringing you along with all this stuff in the meantime. But just wanted to give you that quick update that um, we did go ahead with getting work done. It needed to be done. Lindsay's work did. I'm deferring mine. They're gonna, he still wants to take all the old fillings out and put new ones in. I'm okay with that. It came in at $960 for seven fillings which is a steal of a deal. Is it that many? Yeah. Wow. Huh. All the big ones, all the little ones, you mm -hmm. want to get rid of all the silver, which is That's which is good for my health as well. Um, the metals leach out and all that stuff. And probably already did that. That's probably why I talk as much as I talk. It's probably why I think the way I think. That's why you have so it's, many issues. It's all the freaking mercury that's floating around that's leached out of the silver fillings and it's all <laughs> in my brain right now. In any regard, um, we're deferring my work. We're deferring Lindsay's... Um, one crown and, crown and the bridge and those are things that aren't necessary right now but Lindsay's getting this work done because that is the stuff that the doctor today was pretty much like i don't think you should consider leaving without getting it done super honest really great person and uh, they've walked us i mean got us right in within 10 minutes and set everything in motion got Lindsay right there we went to lunch had some, uh, well, I guess it was yeah. a late breakfast. Late breakfast, yeah. Had some late breakfast, and then Lindsay went over and got started on her work right away. And they've just been amazing in this process. So um, we're doing what we need to do to get things taken care of. And we will have tons of recommendations. I'm probably going to have to write a post now. So I will I'm probably... I'm going to get teeth done. Teeth work done in Hogga Donuts. Yeah, I'll probably be linking to it, and I will mention our dentist specifically... Um, kind of want to make sure all the work gets done first. I'm not worried about it, but um, but we have a fantastic dentist in Los Algodones, and I know that we're paying less than 50% of what it would cost to get done across the border. Yeah, so um, we're super, I guess we're super excited that things are moving along. Not super mm -hmm. excited about the time it's taking, but again, we trust that there's a reason why we need to be here. Maybe there's going to be another guy like Frank who we still haven't told you the story about. Um, I'm going to tell that story the next video um but maybe there's another person here we're supposed to meet maybe there's mm -hmm. a more people here that we're supposed to meet that we're supposed to have some um impact in their lives like like frank like we did for frank and like he did for us so mm -hmm. um who knows but we are in yuma for the foreseeable future and we'll be okay with it for now we're going to take the dogs back to the park and go have a nice little afternoon come back Lindsay's skipping dinner mm -hmm. i have to learn how to cook again and then I'm gonna eat some mashed potatoes. Yeah. Some soup. And I think we're gonna do a lazy night tonight. We've got tons of work to do, but I'm gonna start that tomorrow. For now, yeah. that's where Let's we are. Go.